St. Louis and Detroit, mm -hmm. two teams that were first on the clock back in April. Sam Bradford's team going on sides to start the game, Steve. I like this, and you know what? The Detroit Lions were ready, and they were waiting for it, and that started the snowball right That's from the get-go. Yeah, that led to Jason Hansen putting the first points on the board. Sam Bradford hit as he throws, and then his top receiver thus far this year, Mark Clayton, fifth receiver in the NFC, appears to have blown out his knees. Uh, he lost Donnie Avery. That's going to hurt him. He says that he's going to be done for the season. That's huge. And so uh, later man. on in the second quarter, this. we show Stephon Logan running it because he is the little man with football. 105 yards ties the longest return in Lions history. Lions take the lead. 10 to 3. Next Lions possession. Sean Hill. The job at best. Another little man with football. Yeah, they've got some speed now that they've recruited and drafted. They've got some speed and exciting players all around. 22-yard gain. Eight plays later, Sean Hill. Here's one of them. Go and get it. That's the man. That's How many a broken times play, coach. have we seen this guy go up, use his height, and rebound the ball for a touchdown? 13-play drive. Put the lines up 17-3 right before the half. Sean Hill looking for all the ball. day to throw the ball. He makes a sandwich and finds Brandon Pettigrew. We're very lucky to have Sean Hill. The guy's got a winning record at San Francisco. And now he's winning for Detroit. Three touchdowns for Sean Hill. Fourth quarter, it's a 34-6 game. Sam Bradford's pass tipped by Andama Kinsu, who does what Julius Peppers did in the previous highlight. Hold it up! <laughs> tipped and picked. The big the, he says, it's not the first time okay, I played against Bradford. Save yourself. 